This is my tutorial on how to root and install uh, the Cyanogen ROM 4.1.9.9 and this is how we're going to do it. First off you're going to need your USB cable. Plug that in. Mount it. Now, as you can see, I already have the two files we're going to need, but uh, if you look in the description, there will be two links for the recovery image and the flash recovery. Uh, you, all you need to do is download those and put them in the root of your SD card, which is, here's my SD card right here. Click on it, this is the root, no subfolders, nothing in the folders, just right here. Uh, after you do that and put that all in there, you're going to need to go to the market and type in Linda. This is the file manager you'll need to run the install the flash recovery. Wait for this. Okay. Um, what we're doing exactly here is flashing your G1, which will root it and allow you to install custom ROMs or firmware, if you like to call them that. Uh, it looks like it installed, so we're going to click that, and we're going to go to SD card, and... This is after you put all those two files on there, flashback and uh, flashback and recovery ROM. Uh, I forgot to turn that off. Uh, make sure you're not mounted when you do this, or else it will give you that. Okay, now we're in the SD card. What you're going to do is click on uh, flash recovery.apk, click it, and then select package installer, not Linda File Manager. Uh, if you get that, just go to your settings and click unknown sources. And let's go back to Linda. Package installer. And let's just go ahead and open it. And you're going to see here, if this doesn't work, then just download it and then hit recovery. Now, this screen should have been blank, but it's not, so we're going to erase all this. And then we're going to type in... Uh,
slash SD card slash recovery dash make sure this is exact capital R A dash dream yet yeah. dream dash v 1.2.2.img now that should come up and you just click flash and you have now just flashed or rooted your g1 Now we're going to do next uh, is reboot in recovery mode. And this is pretty simple.